Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the R Holistic Killer, aka Sonia B. So I am back with this quick prophetic message. Um, so with that being said, let's get straight into the message, okay? So um, the first message I received was on the 27th. I didn't have time enough to give it to you guys yesterday, but I know some of you guys are already on the move, okay? But God had spoke to me and I clearly heard him saying, he said, I hope that you have learned your lesson so that I don't have to keep giving you unwanted experiences, okay? So let me say it again. God said, I hope you have learned your lesson so that I don't have to keep giving you unwanted experiences, okay? And then the next message he gave me as well too, um, it was, um, this is these when these dreams when these prophetic messages appear I don't see absolutely anything this is just absolute like being in the the ethers straight void I could just hear God speaking okay so this other message came through as well too and it says God also said that I have you isolated for a good reason okay and and it also said he said I have you isolated for a good reason and this is a very important cocoon phase that he has you in because in order for you to move forward okay but since that message i received on the 27th i've also received a message since then that some of you guys are already on the move okay just know and understand when god had you blocked he had you blocked for a reason he had you isolated for a reason it's for your protection okay um and then it also said um because god is using this phase to prepare you to, excuse me god is using this phase to prepare to propel you forward so please what was it oh okay i'm sorry i was trying to read my handwriting because when god, god give me these messages i wake up in the middle of the night and i write them down and so it said so um so please go along with the flow and don't fight against the flow so when you're doing the opposite of what god is asking you to do you know whether you realize that you're you may not be realizing that you're fighting, but you're going against what God has for you. So it's almost like you're not being obedient in a sense, okay? But again, this is a very important process that God has you in right now. And that's for me, for you, for you know all of us that are watching in a sense. And, I was, and I'm going to share something with you as well too, something that actually happened to me real quick. Actually, I'm going to tell you real quick. So, um, so basically something happened to me uh four days ago in a sense before i received this message um right about the time i told you that you know there are people that's kind of chasing you and it was coming in like three cycles of three so some of you guys you've been dealing with this cycle every since like let's just say you know 2017 where you have to realize something activated in your chart thank you holy spirit something activated in your chart that puts you in like this sagittarius type energy okay and I say all that to say Sagittarius is a fire sign. So Sagittarius, for those who are Sagittarius and they know this, they always have to constantly keep moving, 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 moving. So the way I saw this was God was, was revealing to me that some of you guys have had people in your life that they may have made choices that you didn't necessarily understand or maybe they were behaving in ways that maybe you may have thought that there was like some sort of mental issues with them in a sense. And, you know, whether it be a situation of, you know, um, this is a close related relationship that you thought maybe these people had like mental issues but what you don't know and realize is you know some of those people that was experiencing what they was experiencing is because the uh, Sagittarius of their chart was being activated at that time and some of you guys that same way that you kind of looked at these other individual peoples and kind of um kind of talked about them whether it be talked down on them or looked at them in a way of like oh well they have a mental problem or oh you know um they're a direct seed of them in a sense so they may have that problem as well too some of you guys and, and this is why god says not to judge okay because you don't realize that this is god dealing with people but society chalks things up to mental illnesses okay and i'm not saying that there aren't people out there who do not have like mental illnesses with i'm not even diminishing that at all but what i am saying is the world chalks people going through certain situations as up to mental illnesses where when you look at it from a spiritual perspective god is dealing with these people in some sort of way okay that's some sort of lesson um that they are having to experience or go through in order to teach them something okay and not only that but something act activates in their charge and that's why god says 
um oh god what was the word that's why god says to unlearn what you thought you knew see society has placed so many labels and attachment to words and so on and so on and have chalked uh, certain issues up to this to that to this and that but really everything kind of has like a hidden meaning behind some things that happen you know whether it be to people and so on and so on but anyway to make a long story short because i'm hearing holy spirit say go ahead move on thank you holy spirit but basically some of those people that you've basically talked about and looked at them and thought that maybe like uh they were losing their mind or going a little crazy or acting a certain type of way some of you guys don't even realize that same person that you were talking about you are also behaving like okay and i say and this is not for i'm hearing the holy spirit say this is not for everyone this is probably for a small handful of people who are judging a situation of let's just say whether it was a, a family member or you know somebody close within a family member whether it be pertaining to a situation um a close relationship of some si of some kind okay um because for everybody that's going to be different you know could come in a form of uh, uh maybe a friend a friend's friend uh, maybe a friend of a friend knows somebody who's going through something that what appears to be like you know somebody having a mental breakdown or whatever but i say all that to say and for some it could be a situation of maybe like pertaining to marriage in some sort like you know an in-law or something of that nature or even a family member okay it's going to be different for everybody okay again a small selective of people but anyway so i say all that to say but god wants you to understand is the same way that you are talking about or have talked about these people you don't realize that people are looking at you the same exact way that you have been looking at those other individual people like the choices that you're making the things that you're doing acting outside of you know uh um acting outside of how can i say it of your normal behavior not doing it it's almost like thank you holy spirit i just heard like when somebody goes through a midlife crisis okay um people chalk when people go through midlife crisis is almost like okay well what's wrong with them why are they doing this why are they doing that so therefore if it's almost like people looking at them a certain type of way well that's what's happening to some of you divine masculines out there and i say that and for those divine masculines who are operating more so in their feminine energy this may be possibly happening to your divine feminine but it's more so masculines that it's happening to rather than divine feminines but there are a lot of divine there are some divine feminines out there who are operating more in their masculine energy and that is applying to them as well okay but anyway so i say all that to say that um that's why god said again we have to be mindful to not judge others because you know we too then being judged because some of you guys are being judged with the choices that you're making the behavior that you're displaying choices um situations that you're choosing and this has been going on for some time now and god was just showing me like these things has been coming in like cycles of threes you know whether it be the friends coming like a revolving door you get rid of the friends and then uh, friends from the past come back new friends from the past come back and then you deal with situations with that and you get rid of them because you realize that you know oh you know they were no good or god revealed something to you and then you finding yourself in the same situation again so anyway so i say all that to say basically god was saying that if you don't learn i hope that you've learned the lesson this time around basically so that you don't have to keep experiencing the unwanted experiences because trust me until you align with god's will you're gonna always find yourself keep dealing with and experiencing the same situations dealing with the same situations in regards to um dealing with the same situations in regards to uh excuse me y'all i got a little sidetracked dealing with the same situations and patterns that uh you know that you have dealt with for probably since 2017 in a sense okay and one thing that you have to understand is as i said before the sagittarius energy that's in your chart basically um because that sagittarius energy is in your chart hold on y'all because basically that sagittarius energy is in your chart in a sense it's almost like uh again the fire signs they always feel the need to have to keep going 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 and some of you guys you might want to be mindful of where you live at too because sometimes as i said before i did a video sometime before and i realized like back in december god had revealed some information to me and the information was 
um you know if you stay somewhere near like a highway or something like that in a sense it's almost like that energy from the highway if you think the highway keeps going 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 it's busy 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 so it's almost like that energy you feel the need to keep going 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 but what you were meant to learn at this point in time is how to tame that energy thank you holy spirit you were meant to learn how to tame that energy and the way that you tame that energy comes in a form of you doing the opposite of what you feel like you're being compelled to do because what i'm hearing is saying it's up here it starts here in your mind first so the moment that your mind tells you oh i need to go 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 move 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 you know you you should be more so in your heart space rather than your mind space okay allowing your heart not not allowing your mind to basically and that's that's that masculine energy in a sense where you know we we're mind driven in a sense rather than being heart driven okay anyway so but really quick just to let you know there was an experience that i had basically dealt with a few days ago and basically it was somebody that was kind of somewhat of a teacher you know in a sense because one thing you have to understand that there are always people out here that are teaching us stuff whether it's somebody that's a friend of me whether it's a situation of somebody that you know uh you hang around with you know whether it's a call uh, a a family member uh, a spouse a sister cousin brother however you want to take it you know even if they are unhealthy people they are all teaching us something in some sort of way okay and the reason why they're teaching us stuff in some sort of way is because it's more so for us to learn a lesson so I say all that to say there was somebody that I was watching on this journey in a sense that let's just say maybe like um two years maybe or a year and a half in a sense and let's just say that they had supposed to have been somewhat of a teacher but i say all that to say that basically what happened was i had released them some time ago like let's just say december probably 20 2021 in a sense you know not december around about november because i noticed every year around about that same time it's almost like releasing season in a sense so around about november November sometime I chose to unfollow this individual in a sense okay and it just so happened that I want to say maybe probably sometime after the new year in a sense so I, I was no longer watching that person's channel in a sense but I had learned a lot in, in in I had learned a lot from you know just kind of watching that person's channel but the funny thing about that was they were a former and it wasn't so much of the tarot card readings because there were times that there was you know intellectual philosophy conversations and so on and so on but I say all that to say that you know um just in general but you know this is something to be mindful of as well too and this is why god tells us to use our intuition in a sense okay so even though at that particular time you know i had gained a lot from watching you know there's a time and a season for everything so at that moment i was meant to watch what i was meaning to watch in a sense because it was helping to you know you know i was learning something from it as well too but anyway so i say all that to say uh to sum it up uh apparently i had unfollowed the individual and i basically i had unfollowed her in a sense and then i think somewhere after the new year it just so happened i saw her page kind of go across my timeline and it mentioned something about her getting married so i was like oh she must have came in you know union with her twin in a sense but she obviously didn't marry her twin she ended up marrying a soulmate so i say all that to say that obviously she was on this twin journey as well too but she did mention that her twin ended up marrying somebody else okay so now whether she was really a twin flame i don't know only god knows that and only she truly knows that but i say all that to say that um in a sense so i clicked on her video and i saw her actually getting married in a sense you know uh you know small little ceremony saw her getting married but anyway long story short fast forward in a sense you know it's like she went from she was no longer actually before i stopped watching her she kind of started stopped doing the tarot card reading should i say so she was trying to do away with that so she went from that to basically um basically uh Re getting more in tune with reading the word so i say all that to say that god was even teaching me a lesson because he was reminding me listen your personal relationship with me is with me okay and i say all that to say because there may be people out there that may disappoint you in some sort of way and in, in in some sort of way in a sense even if they are even a part of the spiritual community in a sense because just like i mentioned i, I don't know if i mentioned in that video or not or that was a video i did but i end up deleting it or i never posted it but i say all that to say that we have to be reminded that even though jesus you know he had 12 disciples with him you know he had judas who betrayed him what is it scarlet judas was that his name scarlet i know his name was judas but was it scarlet joe something i can't remember his original name but 
Judas ended up betraying Jesus, you know, for some money in a sense. So I say all that to say God was just speaking to my spirit after an incident happened. I'm going to tell you in a minute. He, he was speaking to my spirit because I was like, wow, I wasn't even expecting that one, right? Because this person was so convincing, like they was truly on this journey. They was about God. And I'm not saying that they're not about, but this just goes to show you just how sometimes you just can't put your trust like within man in a sense. And, and not only that, but it's so important to always, always seek God in everything we do, even if it's just down to you know, God, should I befriend this person? God, because basically I, I was watching people's videos in a sense, and I don't mean it's no harm, but it was to the point that I had to kind of move like incognito in a sense, because it seemed like my energy was kind of showing up in, you know, these people's conversations or just, you know, just with them being psychic, intuitive and, you know, things like that. So yes, you have to be mindful of how you move in a sense, because people can pick up on your energy, especially if your energy is like, can overpower everybody else's energy who may be possibly watching and i'm just saying in general because that's some people carry that type of energy okay but not only that but um basically he was uh, also uh peter when peter had denied jesus three times before the before the rooster had uh crowed what did he say before 12 three roosters were crowing you deny me three times or before the rooster crows you deny me three times anyway so and god was revealing that to me as well too so you know these were people who were part of the 12 disciples in a sense so you know i had to be mindful and be like dang wow okay so even so we should be praying to god that you know that um because remember i said that all what is it all a call but only few are chosen okay so there may be people who may step up to the plate and feel like oh i'm about to serve god and so on and so on and i chalk this up to the divine masculine in a sense because you know um he's being called you know but it's a matter of whether he has step up to the plate and do what he needs to do whether it's the divine masculine or divine family because that goes both ways and i have to realize that you know even on this channel i do have a couple of men watching so i don't want you to think that i'm bashing the men but for those men who are doing it in the work good for you kudos you know keep doing what you're doing because in the end god is going to make sure and he will reward you for you know your hard work effort and energy but not only that but do not put all of your don't focus so much on your divine counterpart focus more so on you put that energy on you love you you know spend time with you yes we all want love in a sense and we all want that partner to share it with but don't be to the point that you're over obsessive with it okay to the point like oh my god like i truly want love i can't do this without him you've done it this long i'm just saying <laughs> you know but god is going to only allow this situation to keep going on for a limited time and then at some point in time just know that there are some things that do expire i'm gonna just say that point blank period where i think the divine masculine thinks that he has eternal lifetime to keep playing and doing the games that you know whether again you're the masculine or the feminine that's watching you know if you're doing it in the work so i'm replying to the one who is not doing the work okay so at some point in time that energy will expire in a sense and there will be a choice that will be needing to be made okay so I can't say how it's going to go. You can't say how it's going to go. We could just keep the faith and trust that what God has either, you know, trust that what God has for us is for us. Okay. And then whatever God does not have for us, he would just politely move it on out of the way. If he knows that it's going to be a hindrance to us, but more importantly, um, just know that if you are not in divine union with your divine counterpart, and you also have to be careful too, because this is the other message that I received this morning too. It was as if like uh say a masculine and a feminine they were together this is how i saw a masculine and a feminine they were together and they was like at like a laundromat it was weird it was like slash laundromat slash uh a bar grill i guess uh is that how you refer to it? a bar a bar grill a, a place where they have tvs yeah yeah whatever because i don't go out that much anyway it's a place where they don't have where they have tvs and i guess they can watch like the game up on the screen or whatever so it was as if a divine masculine and a divine feminine were at a laundromat this message came through this morning they were at a laundromat so as they was at the laundromat they was like kind of washing clothes but it wasn't a whole boat log of clothes right so it was just like a couple of items in a sense and it was as if 
they both were standing there together you know in a sense but then next thing you know the divine masculine left the divine feminine inside the laundromat part and he went over to the other part where all the let's just say socialization was going on the busyness and all that other stuff was going on on the other side so he disappeared off to the other side and left his divine feminine standing behind so I say all that to say, as I said before, that God is not going to allow the divine masculine to come in to union with the divine feminine as long as he keeps being pulled away from her and allowing distractions and allowing that fire energy to constantly keep him on a go, 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 you know, of, of, um, how can I say it? Of, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit, of allowing things to pull him away from her in a sense. So because he went to be social over to the other side, again, it was slash laundromat slash barn grill in a sense. So he left her to go over to the other side. So with that being said, part of the isolation period that I told you that you guys were in, in a sense, that again was for your protection. Because as I said before, you have to understand some people are some people have this energy it's something about the Sagittarius energy I don't know exactly what it is but that's why it's so important to I know keep your energy feel clear of other people's stuff because you have to realize you know I've, I've told you guys before that how I can pick up on other people's energy I can pick up on you know mother earth's energy like when things are happening so I can kind of like feel it in my body like just the other day my neck was kind of bothering me and I was just like okay where is this coming from and then it was like God was just speaking to me because it was like a little hard for me to turn like to the left but I can turn fully to the right I mean it feels better now or whatever but I really had to nurture that or whatever but I knew that that was God speaking to me and this was God and this is what he was revealing to me he was like he's trying to get some of you guys to the point that you're no longer looking to the left you know whether it's me you whoever to stop looking to the left and to go to the right it which is the which is the direction that I would have you to go in okay which is his divine will okay which is his divine purpose okay and not us doing things our own personal way okay which is funny because it just re thank you Holy Spirit Holy Spirit just revealed to me the left side of your body represents you receiving the right side of your body means you're giving okay so right hand you notice we always shake people's hand with the right hand and if i was y'all i would stop shaking people's hands in a sense i can't tell you what to do but when you shake people's hands you know these people can pick up on your energy and read your energy and so on and so on so i would really be mindful but not only that ever since the 19 uh the the 19 shutdown wait whatever the shut excuse me the yeah the 19 the whole shutdown and all I, um, you know, that right there was enough to even just even stop shaking people's hands. Cause I can tell you one time since then, I think this year, somebody was trying to, she reached her hand out to shake my hand. I was like, Oh, I'm sorry. I don't do handshakes. <laughs> you know, I didn't say I'm sorry, but I said, no, I don't do handshakes. So I was just basically letting her know, like y'all should stop doing that again. I can't tell you what to do because I realize that there are some people out here that can read your energy. And sometimes all they need to do is just connect with your energy and that's the key word connect with your energy when you choosing you know to shake their hand in a sense you're giving them the permission to kind of like read your energy if they can't already read it just by looking at you in a sense you know some people can do that that's you know um in a sense but you know just psychically or whatever the case may be but sometimes they just need to touch you in order to be able to read you so anywho but again i'm telling you this because you should be aware of these things of creating healthy boundaries with people because if people are doing it unawarely you know um people sometimes do it unawarely well not sometimes sometimes people who are psychic most of the times they are doing it intentionally because they're trying to figure you out in a sense so i say all that to say that it's just mindful of uh, just knowing that who you guys are dealing with okay so anyway but yeah so just know that um yeah oh and let me tell you really quick so basically the person was sending me black magic as i was sitting there watching one of her videos the other day and i felt this poke and burn like somebody was sticking something in my foot i was like what the hell but it wasn't until i clicked on her video and then i felt it again and it was so intense and i was like what i was like no and then i was just like okay i was like that's it i'm wrapping it up you can shut it i was like that's it i'm wrapping it up no more no more no more i was like never again would i ever 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 
ever watch her again in a sense because that was God revealing to me to let go to truly 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 let go not not to be watching the video or whatever the case may be but again that story went back to the whole you know how Judas uh Judas had betrayed Jesus in a sense again I'm not saying I'm Jesus but I'm just saying just because they were a part of the uh what do you call it I don't know if you want to say um the spiritual community or the the new age community because i know i i started noticing like that new age community was just kind of like i was like y'all like some little undercover devils in a sense at, at times you know just with the little sneaky stuff that y'all do especially with people especially when people um wasn't aware of how they operate and the things that they do in a sense so this is the reason why it's so important but like i said if you're somebody who constantly is on the go 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 God is trying to get you to do the opposite of what you were doing. And I don't thank you, Holy Spirit. And right before I get ready to go, God also wanted me to share with you as well, too. He wanted you to know that here's, here's the key to... This is something that some of you guys need to know. So look at your parents. Whether your parents are still together and whether your parents were together but separated at some point, okay? So in the way I received this message was... For those of you who are, let's just say, if some of you were either possibly engaged to get married or if you were already married in a sense and you already have a, a family that's together in a sense, you guys have, you know, property together and so on and so on or bills together in some sort. Um, I say all that to say some of you don't realize it, but you were meant to do the opposite of what it was that your parents had did so whatever it was that your parents had experienced whether they were together and separated whether your dad stepped out on your mom or whether your mom stepped out on your dad you were meant to do the opposite of that thank you holy spirit because doing the opposite of what they did it's breaking a generational curse it's breaking whatever curse that may have been over your family line you doing just the opposite will break that so in other words, uh, if that's a situation where there's your divine counterpart in a sense and you guys have been at odds in a sense, you know, uh, it's like God is, your mission in this lifetime is to get along with your divine counterpart because as long as you are, how can I say it? As long as you are... Um, how can I say it? As long as you are at odds with your divine counterpart, you're at odds with yourself because you have to realize your divine counterpart is the opposite of who you are, okay? They are your opposite. They are your feminine side of who you are, okay? Whether you realize it or not. But anyway, but by uh, doing the opposite of maybe what your dad did or what your mom did in a sense, again, if your mom was the one that left your dad or if your dad was the one that left your mom, if you guys dealt with that situation, because in some cases, sometimes your mom and your dad may be still together to this day. But at the same time, for another group is what I'm hearing. If, if your parents are still together and still married to this day in a sense, um, and you have like an unhealthy situation what like let's say your mom your dad you also are, also are having an unhealthy situation with your uh, maybe somebody that you're living with uh, your significant other in the case um, because it's almost like you're settling for less like two people being together two people being together for the sake of being together where their heart is not really there but they're just together because it feels comfortable it feels safe is what i'm hearing okay so anyway but like i said for those people who are either were were engaged or put engagement on hold or were married or still married in a sense um you know those of you who saw your parents not getting along you were meant to do the opposite of what your parents did so if your parents separated and went on about their business you were meant to fix and mend you know your relationships with your with your divine counterpart so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end that there y'all but um yes god wanted me to know uh let you know that um again you were meant to do the opposite of what you have been doing being on the move it's time to sit still okay anyway so if not god's gonna keep giving you these unwanted experiences <laughs> until you learn the lesson okay and i can't even tell you when or what may possibly come of that okay i do know that is a limited of time you have a limited time of window opportunity to get it right okay um 
anyway so i'm gonna end that there but i hope you guys have a beautiful day i wish you all much love and i want to make sure that was it i think that's pretty much it so anyway um so the key is have you learned your lesson I don't need to be burnt twice to figure it out <laughs> you know just that person sending you know and and let me say this thank you holy spirit it's not the fact that i wasn't protected but god wanted me to feel that experience that so that way i'll know what not to do because had i been fully protected at that time when that was happening i wouldn't have never known what the individual was doing because i had already knew my answer my antennas had already went up at that specific moment because one it was something that was happening i was like why does she sound like she in a bathroom somewhere and i knew this individual was kind of traveling and you know I don't know if it was like cross country or whatever but I knew that something was odd but then I'm looking at the image that they had on the thumbnail as the video was playing and they was talking in the background I was like something don't seem right so God had basically revealed to me so I don't know about you but like I said me I don't need to be burnt twice or whatever the case may be so I learned my lesson and I told God I said I clean my hands I am done no more no more no more so I say all that to say um you know um you have to figure out if you've had enough, okay? So anyway, I ended there. But I hope you guys enjoy your Friday. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I wish you all much love. I wish you all much light. And I say peace and blessings. Bye.